all across the planet in some of the most spectacular settings the Earth has to offer. Endurance athletes are testing their physical and emotional limits, expanding their capacity for pain and indulging their desire for adventure, communing with nature while striving to go farther and faster. In the open water swim, mountain bike, and trail running competition known as Xterra. Terror requires resourcefulness, patience, durability, and above all, grit. Success depends on more than fitness and athleticism. Competitors must also confront the wild cards thrown at them by nature and by rugged terrain. When I think of Xterra, I think of you know like triathlon amplified. We we take your you know your usual swim bike run, we make it more extreme, you know more hardcore and add a whole lot of skills into it. What started in Hawaii in the 1990s as a competition for an intrepid group of outdoor adventurers soon developed into a passion and lifestyle for triathletes around the world, with hundreds of races taking place annually on five continents. Xterra became a phenomenon. The athletes embraced the opportunity to test themselves against the elements and themselves. My favourite thing about Xterra is facing your deepest fears and trying to overcome them. For Xterra athletes around the globe, the beauty is in the struggle. They come from a broad range of ages, abilities and backgrounds, but they are unified in their determination and their commitment to the Live More ethos. These warriors explore the earth and the limits of their own physical potential. They know the path less taken is a path worth taking. The muddier, the gnarlier, the better. And whether in the water or out on the trail, Xterra athletes of all persuasions and paces revel in the thrill of the challenge, knowing there is a certain nobility in the suffering. Everywhere I go, I meet people that either coming from the States or all over Europe. So you're always racing against people you know, having a good time before and after the race. Plus the challenge of the race is something that you don't get on road triathlon, which is, triathlon, which is where I came from. My favorite part of the X chair is the bike. Lots of challenges, to berms, hills, climbing, descending, rocks, logs. There is something special, there's just this challenge that draws me back every year. Broken chain, still going. What happened? Broke my chain four miles ago, still going. Gotta finish. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree. The experience. Discover the magic of Tea Tree. Xterra. Racing and apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit exteraplanet.com. Xterra takes place in some of the most inspiring and breathtaking locales our planet has to offer. From medieval villages to 
ancient forests. From rapidly developing regions to monuments that have stood for millennia. Xterra gives participants the chance to get out of the gym, off the roads, and into nature, where they can experience their surroundings on an elemental level. Across tracks and dirt trails, these meadows and mountainsides, lakes and oceans, are all landscapes to be celebrated and honored by the athletes who are lucky enough to traverse them. Xterra is challenging and being out in nature is, I mean, you can't get a better setting than where we're at today. Being able to push yourself to the limit in a setting like this is, is it's the best. Xterra is a type of racing unlike any others. I find that Xterra keeps me focused. I find it is more fun. It's grueling and difficult, but it's grueling and difficult and more fun than going out and grinding away on the highway for, you know, 100 miles on a road bike. I got started racing in Xterra with my dad. He pushed me towards it. At first I was a little hesitant on it, but later on I fell in love with the sport. I love it. I love having someone there to push me and keep me going, even when I just want to stop, because sometimes I'll do that with myself, just to take a break. But when he's with me, I just keep pushing myself harder and harder. Sometimes when I'm in class, I was just daydreaming about the races I could be doing. To travel together with my tribe is the best. We are never so happy that we are, when we are on the move, uh, we use a lot of time traveling together. Uh, we were the last uh, since they are born. Uh, we were to South Africa, to Greece, Italy, uh, many places. I really like to experience all of this together with the kids and, uh, and Helia. I think for them it's a great experience because uh, I think that my kids are not shy, they are not afraid of people, they are quite social, uh, they are not afraid of animals, they like to move into the nature, uh, so I'm pretty proud of them and uh, so I would like that we keep uh, traveling as much as we do. <laughs> The spirit of Xterra means celebrating not only nature, but also culture. Off-road athletes are welcomed at events around the world by local communities, who are happy to showcase their unique brand of hospitality and encouragement. It's often said that the Xterra community is a family, but Xterra is also a sport for families. Behind every participant, there are parents, or partners, or children, or fur babies, who join the journey, supporting their loved ones as they chase their athletic dreams. And for the current generation of Xterra devotees, the presence of family makes the process all the sweeter. The sky looks gray on nevers bound the floor Your days are feeling just the same For a long time you've been off your game Don't care to play young cat to keep us cold Off-road triathlon is growing but it's certainly nothing new. A quarter century of Xterra competition 
has brought us some of the greatest triathletes in history, including Conrad Stoltz, a South African who won four world titles over the course of a decade, and Nicolas Lebrun of France, the 2005 world champion, who is now the director for Xterra in Europe. New Zealand's Hamish Carter, the 2004 Olympic gold medalist in triathlon, who won an Xterra global crown two years after his victory at the Athens Games. Ruben Ruzafa of Spain, an elite mountain biker turned triathlete, who has won three Xterra world titles and is still one of the toughest competitors on earth. Josiah Middle, the 2015 world champion and the greatest American Xterra racer in history. And Bradley Weiss of South Africa, the two-time and reigning Xterra world champion. On the women's side, formidable competitors of past and present include Canadian Melanie McQuaid, a three-time Xterra world champion. American Jamie Whitmore, who won an Xterra world title, and then, after cancer cost her the use of her left leg, returned to sports as a champion paracyclist. Fabiola Corona, a 2008 Olympic triathlete for Mexico, who is still racing Xterras at an elite level. Scotland's Leslie Patterson, who has won three Xterra world titles, most recently in 2018. Helena Karaskova of the Czech Republic, a two-time Winter Olympian in cross-country skiing who placed third, at age 40, at the 2019 Xterra World Championships. And Flora Duffy, who has represented Bermuda at three Olympics and is the best female cross-triathlete in history, with five Xterra World titles, including the 2019 crown. The Xterra stars of today are poised to continue the sport's proud tradition, improving their fitness, honing their technique, and stretching themselves as athletes, with an eye on future finish lines and future glory. The spirit of Xterra is one of the purest, and most uplifting in all of sports. Everyone in the race, no matter their division or pace, is striving to test personal limits. And the shared struggle generates a camaraderie that is truly unique. To witness an Xterra is to be inspired, but make no mistake, the events are grueling. They can be brutal, painful, requiring racers to persevere against the elements, the obstacles, and the protestations of one's own body. And the desire for competition and self-improvement is never quenched. Reaching the finish line is an achievement to be celebrated, leaving athletes overwhelmed and often overjoyed. And then, once they've had a chance to recover, ready to plot their next off-road racing adventure. Xterra is a way of life, um, it's a philosophy in terms of pushing the boundaries, facing fears, being out of your comfort zone, uh, the mantra is live more and that's, you know, I grew up with that so for me Xterra is a way of life, it's like brushing my teeth 
I have to do it. <laughs> Josiah Middle's motivation derives from his love of the sport, which he shares with his three children, his brother, and his wife, excellent athletes in their own right. It's more of just a, a feeling of gratitude to be able to do what I do. And I'm so fortunate for that. And I, I feel like I've finally, you know, I actually have built a career. And that has been my goal, to do something that I love, uh, feel fulfilled from that. Fabiola Corona has been racing Xterras for 15 years with her husband, and she's not ready to give it up yet. I am 39 years old, and I'm still racing as a pro. I think what's keep me racing Xterra is to travel all around the world and visit new places, and meet new people, new, new traditions, new cultures, new food. Um, we love to travel. We are um, an adventure, adventure travelers and adventure seekers. Once I am done racing professionally, I will continue to race in the age group category. I'm really excited about that. And I know that my career beyond professional racing will still involve Xterra somehow, in some way, shape or form. I will be in this sport for, for many years to come. People with all kinds of backgrounds, life experiences and challenges are drawn to Xterra, like Jia Chao Wang, a Paralympic gold medalist from China, who lost his left arm in a horrific accident when he was a child, but went on to become a champion swimmer and has been doing Xterra since 2017. And Anita Coyle, whose husband died suddenly of a heart attack in 2019. In Xterra, the grieving mother of four found an outlet and a sense of purpose. I started to look forward to it, and it was really the only thing that I looked forward to. It was the only goal that felt meaningful, that felt like I was trying to accomplish anything. Everything else just felt, felt like checking boxes, like I was just doing, I was just going through the motions. But that was something that kept me motivated towards something. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree. The experience. Discover the magic of Tea Tree. Xterra. Racing and apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit xterraplanet.com. Although elite Xterra racers work as hard as any other professional athletes, they still find joy in the process. They know how lucky they are to make their living outdoors, and the relationships they form with their training mates will last a lifetime. lifestyle perspective, I think everything wrapped around it. So it's the community, it's the, the tribe, it's the, the people that you meet, it's you guys, it's the staff that we, that we get to connect to and connect with every time we, we see you at the races. I think you all suffer out there, which is a big thing that brings people together. And also, everyone's always willing to help someone else. So if something goes wrong, someone's always willing to throw you a spare tube or ask if you're okay, um, which is a massive thing.
Early in 2020, as the world was gripped by the deadly pandemic known as COVID-19, Xterra suspended its racing calendar. In a sport known for its unity and camaraderie, the athletes had to go it solo. Training, strengthening, improving, and biding their time. Until they can come together again in a celebration of health, resilience, and competition. Reunited by the adventurous and joyful spirit that is Xterra. Coming up in the next episode of Xterra Adventures, we look back at the sport's roots, its gritty, scrappy, wild roots. When new school mountain bikers and traditional on-road triathletes clashed on the shores of Maui to see who was king of the mountain and the beach in an event that over the next quarter century developed into one of the most compelling outdoor competitions in the world. That's next time on Xterra Adventures. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two,